<laughs> that is disgusting. Hang on, here's a spot that still looks good. So, do we have a winner? Hmm. Not ugly enough. I want something that looks like this. Ay, caramba! Had a baby with this, and it got sat on by this. I think I've come up with the answer. Oh, my God! You never fail to nauseate me, boy. <laughs> Just call me Barf Simpson. I wanted to, but your mother said kids might tease you. <laughs> Half an hour to showtime, your ugliness. Dad, do you realize we've put more time into this than all my schoolwork combined? But if we win this, we get a gift certificate. For what? Oh, it doesn't matter. Hey, how you doing? I need a diaper for my chimp that won't upset my tiger's stomach if he eats the chimp. Fair not. All chimp diapers have that nutty cinnamon taste tigers love. Mmm, it's a great time to be a tiger. <laughs> Mr. Flanders, how did you make these amazing fish? <laughs> Actually, God made some fish that were pretty close to these, so naturally we selected those for further breeding. So that natural selection was the origin of this species? Yep, that's exactly... Whoa, you almost got me. <gasps> Not on my watch. <laughs> Is he taking? Uh, yes, I'm saving it for this soy sauce packet. Oh, man. You know you're a loser when they don't even work hard on the excuse. I'll just sit here then. Thanks a lot, everyone. Choke on yourself. Ah, here we go. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, that one's so ugly, it reminds me of my ex-wife. <laughs> that one reminds me of her lawyer, Congress, elderly drivers, commercials, the lab zug. Uh, hey, clown, we've heard you stand up. Now, how about some shut up? <laughs> Everybody's a comedian. Except you. <laughs> well, why don't you come up here and try to entertain them? Do it, Lou. Entertain us. Well, I guess I could. Uh, at least I'd get a chair. Check it out. Two train wrecks connected by a strip of leather. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to say it's ugly, but uh, Peter called and said we should kill this one. <laughs> and now, owned by one of the ugliest families in Springfield, Satan's Little Helper! <gasps> oh, whoa! Even the Koreans wouldn't touch this dog. <laughs> <laughs> we have a winner! Oh. Ooh, everyone's coming over to congratulate us. Humble faces, kids. A humbler. Lisa, too humble. Hmm? You're hilarious. Judge my baby. Say something cruel about me. Would you do my kid's birthday party? Mo, mo, mo. Wow, they love me for my bile. And I got a spleenful. And hello. No, no, no. I don't need your fair weather friendship. Is what I'll say tomorrow morning. <laughs> Ed, you sure saved that dog show. Mo, you were hilarious. Eh, I was just doing what comes naturally to me, being mean to animals. Oh, uh, excuse me, sir. I was wondering if you would judge an outrageous beard contest I'm in tonight. 
Well, uh, anyone can get a laugh at the expense of an ugly dog, but crazy beards, that's where the big boys play. You got oh, the dog, boy! Can you make it sound like girls asking me? <laughs> okay, you crazy dames, I'll do it! <laughs> Which means this joint is closed for the night. Don't be that way! You can't close. I'll have to go home and drink better beer at half the price and natural lighting. Uh, I didn't want to have to do this. Ah! 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 Yeah, that's right. Scatter, you cockroaches. Mr. Sislak, would you like to buy some band candy? That doesn't work on me. Oh, yeah? How about this scary face? Nah! Yeah. I can see that deep down is a decent man. <sighs> Fine. You're home early. Oh, can a guy rush home from work to see his beautiful... Nose is closed, huh? Yeah. Now what am I supposed to do? We can enjoy each other's company. Okay. <laughs> Still want to be at Moe's. She's right, Homer. You're happier there. Mr. Sislak, you want to buy some band candy? Even in the thought bubble, I gotta buy band candy? Looks like you ate a Rastafarian and he's coming back up on you. <laughs> now, looky here. I'm no judge of talent, but I am a judge of judging. And in my judge judgment, you have a talent for judging talent. You talk like my ass plays harmonica. <laughs> you should share your hilarious hate with everyone. Why can't you be nicer to me? I didn't see you come in. Well, since Moe's is closed again, I thought I'd help you cook dinner. Well, I don't need much help, but you can keep me company. Wah! You know what? I'll just cook this later. What are we watching? Uh, I'm gonna go read a book. <laughs> After the title page, it's Bob Dole's memoirs. This is terrible. I've seen better stitching on a baseball glove. Can I have another corpse? They weren't corpses. Uh-oh. Mo says like, I'm from UCAA, the Uncreative Artist Agency. We represent some of the biggest stars on TV. TV, huh? That crap's still on? Yes, sir. Never been crappier. Listen, Mo, reality shows are looking for judges, and you're that mythical creature we thought we would never find. You're mean, you're funny, and you're not British. I am so not British. Don't let this pasty face and bad teeth fool you. Perfect. So what kind of reality shows are we talking about here? Well, to name just a few, America's Ripest Bananas, So You Think You Can Judge, Who Wants to Be a Welder, Poodle vs. Elephant, Leg Swap, Old People Trying to Figure Out Computers, American Idol, Dancing with Cars of the Stars, America's Drunkest Nobody, Let's Make a Veal, Love That Show, Somali Pirate Apprentice, Right, yeah, with those guys, Fix Andy Dick, It's About Time, Bottom Chef, My Life on Kathy Griffin, Pimp My Crypt, Are You Fatter Than a Fifth Grader, and Grave Robbers of Orange County. Jeez, that's uh, quite a list. Hang on, I'm getting the text. Ooh, those were all just canceled, except for American Idol. Did you just say Armenian Idol? Because that's my favorite show. No, 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 no. American Idol. Oh, yeah. Uh, who's there, Igor Glumov? Randy Jackson. I, I, good enough. Uh, hey, driver, could you put on a song about California or Los Angeles? That's nice. What kind of favor? I organized the kitchen. I labeled everything with a label maker, and I mixed all the spices together into one super spice. <laughs> Marge, the bathroom scale is lying again. <laughs> All right, buddy. I'm gonna do to you what you should have done to my son a long time ago. I'm not Sideshow Bob. I'm the real Walt Warren. But that's impossible. If you're the real Walt Warren, who's taking our son to the baseball game right now?
Uh, you missed the turnoff, Mr. Warren. You don't have to call me Mr. Warren anymore. You see, Bart, you were right all along. I am Sideshow Bob. <laughs> and now I am free to sing all the Gilbert and Sullivan I damn well please. Behold the Lord High Executioner, a personage of noble rank and title. Da 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 Hmm. I'll prove I'm telling the truth. Bob has huge feet, right? Well, well look. You see? <gasps> it's like you're a Chinese empress. You see, I was Bob's cellmate. My new cellmate, Walt Warren, was the perfect candidate for my plan. He had the same build as me, lacking only my regal bearing and leonine grace. As a minor offender, he was scheduled for early release. Say, Bob, why do you keep measuring my face? Just passing the time, Bunky. Well, I guess it beats what the last guy did. Well, nighty night. And nighty night to you. Ha! Oh. I began by removing Walt's face. Five second rule. That was the easy part. The hard part was removing my own face. Luckily, as Krusty's sidekick, I'd been hit with so many pies that my face had lost all sensation. <laughs> or so I thought. <laughs> The final reattachment was a mere bagatelle. Also, I thought. <sighs> they returned Walt's possessions to me. Keys, cell phone, $143,000. Oh. Well, it was only 27000 when you came in, but uh, we invested it well. Would you like a commission? Not allowed. And I walked out free as a bird. I bought the house next to you, and here we are. So, I just have to kill you, then sell the house. Selling the house will be murder. You could just rent it till the market recovers, which will be never. <laughs> hey, handsome. Is that a loose thread on your collar? All the good men are either gay or have no face. Welcome to the Five Corners, the only geographic location in the U.S. where five states meet, and where you will meet your doom. Come on, Bob. You don't need to kill me. I'll probably kill myself pretty soon with all the stupid things I do. Oh, no! I swallowed my tongue! <laughs> 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 East face. Switches of East face. I don't want to censor myself. That's how creativity dies. Ah, oh, blasted Wiggum. How did you find us? You see, Bob, Bart was never convinced you were Walt. So before he left for the game, he called us and warned us to track you, which we were able to do through the dashboard of your car, which, like all hybrids, is secretly monitored by the government. Bravo, Chief. Or should I say Clancy? Yeah, wait a minute. Why so familiar? because I'm afraid you don't have jurisdiction in this state. Welcome to my jurisdiction. You'll just uh, go ahead and put your hands up there, mister. Oh, you got the right to remain silent over here. Oh. We're taking you in, but first we're gonna make a stop at the shore for some ski ball and funnel cakes. Oh. Oh, Bart, I am so glad everything's okay. Well, not everything. Apparently, someone switched your face with a butt. <laughs> well, whoever moves in, it can't be worse than having a murderer next door.
Howdy doodly, next door Roonies. Howdy, Cousin Ted. Howdy do to you, Cousin Ed. How are Roddy and Toddy? Flantastic times, too, how are Connie and Bonnie? Dandy as candy, like every good flandy. Glad to hear it. Thank the Holy Spirit. Glad to say it. And now the girls will yay it. Yay! Stop! Stop! Stop!